What did you do before you became a real estate investor? Before becoming a real estate investor, I was in the military. I did search and rescue for uh, the Air Force. If you would go back in time right now, you're saying you were being out of that, you've been a full-time real estate investor for about a year and a half. Right. Have you had any day that you actually regret in stopping doing, even though you used to love your, what you used to do? So um, No regrets. I definitely miss what I used to do. I miss the community a lot, um, but no, no regrets at all. I'm living a life of freedom. So I joined the military to support freedom and I left the military and started going after real estate to gain that freedom for myself, financial freedom. So why do you think it took you so long? You were born in New York, you know, you're being very well educated in the military and so on. Why do you think it took you so long to come to like, hey, there's a whole new path, a whole new world and life here as an investor. Why do you think it took you this journey to get here? Yeah, I well, I think there's a significant lack of financial education in our system in the United States, and so I just wasn't exposed to it. Um, and you know, YouTube and all that wasn't prevalent when I was a kid, right? And so the access to the information wasn't wasn't really there. And uh, what did your parents do for a living? Um, my dad has done various trades, uh, and then my mom, um, she's done different admin jobs or was a stay-at-home mom at different times. So, Yeah, it's interesting that, you know, when we look back, my kids and this generation that is around us right now, they take for granted. I'm talking about my kids <laughs> because they think it's just a normal thing. But it took me that case to know what was real estate when yeah. they just now like oh i'm i'm gonna be a real estate investor so they don't understand how long that it take us to even know the resources right. and where to find it and how to find it and how to do it yeah. so i'm glad to know that you're probably not helping only your nieces but you're helping everybody around you as well yeah and that's kind of one of my goals so, so i hope so how would you say that real estate have transformed your life well i would say completely um, I mean I used to have a job right a w-2 um, and I've always wanted to travel and really just do whatever I want when I want to um, and I'm able to do that with real estate so it's real estate has helped me um, live the life that I want to live what is the life that you're living right now versus before um, I get to choose where I go when I go and why I go to certain places how often do you travel now uh, quite a bit. Yeah, I travel to Florida to see my nieces um, about every other month. Um, I'm going to be in Italy in the summer. Um, actually, when I closed on my first commercial deal, I was in Hawaii. And that was another kind of aha moment because that was by far the largest transaction I had ever done. I was in Oahu catching a flight to go to Maui, had to like go to a UPS store, sign closing documents, and send it off before my flight. How is stressful is that? It was super stressful, but it was amazing because I was still living my life, I was still traveling, and I was doing you know million dollar transactions at the same time, and that was, it was a really great feeling. Real estate does give us the flexibility to be, to find ourselves in, in so many directions and our passion that I never even heard or thought I thought that I had yeah and somehow after I became a real estate investor I refined myself a whole brand new me that I didn't know before yeah kind of sitting there dormant just ready to yeah ready to, to explore and yeah. when my kids like mom you just think about money I'm like no son with money you find so many passion that you never even heard before and uh, when you have the time and the money, the freedom, you will explore the world. You will see the world in a comp complete different vision as when you're like trying to figure out how you're going to end up by the end of the year. Right. You know, am I going to make yes or no? Yeah. So it, it, it does give us that freedom for sure.